Hello everyone, today I'll be looking at my Lego Disney Figure Series 1, Ariel and Ursula. These are the only Lego um, the Little Mermaid figures I have, and I thought it might be a good time for the new movie. So first off here we have Ariel, who has an accessory of a um, clamshell with a jewel in it. The clamshell can technically close, but not with the jewel in it. Um, it's pretty basic, but let's get that out of the way, because they kind of just put this in there to um, just to give her an accessory so here we go we have Ariel herself I do like her big really big hair piece so that's pretty neat going and looking around you can kind of see it's also very smooth you don't compare it to a lot of modern minifigure hair pieces just to reflect the animated look I think it looks really good the face is pretty generic I don't necessarily see Ariel for it but the torso you have printy there you also have some printy on the back. Um, let's turn her around so you can see. The tail also has printing for the ends of the fins and you kind of can see there's some of the the, um, the the print came off there. So a little bit disappointing there. No alternative face at all but you can see that yeah she does have complete back printing despite the hair piece literally covering all of it. So there's Ariel. Now let's get to Ursula, the only other figure I have. So this figure has a really big base piece, and she was actually the hardest one for me to find when I was collecting these when they were on sale. <clears throat> I love the tentacle piece on the bottom. Um, you also have a molding here to define her um, large features. She comes with um, the well, King Triton, um, Triton. And it has actually has, has hair printing too. Pretty actually, I think this is actually one of the best villains. There's the face you can see. There's the punch that she, um, gets Ariel's voice in. Um, let's, the Triton doesn't get too much of the way, but it kind of starts flaking. That's what the problem with these Tritons is that they just start kind of falling apart a little bit too easily. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, printing wise on her torso, let's actually pull her off her torso. So you can fully see what her the print is. So there, there's nothing literally behind the molding. So you're not missing out on any detail whatsoever. So tell me in the comment section below what you think of these figures. Um, do you actually got them? Uh, let me know that in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.